Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing Vex Midlane versus either Camille or Kennen. I'm not really sure which one yet. I would imagine Camille is top, but maybe Camille thinks that she gets counterpicked by Fiora, so they want to go mid instead. I don't have armor, which is a bit annoying, but if I do have my fear and she does try to use her uh, hook shot towards me, I at least can stop it if I have my fear up. So that's kind of nice. So I might be able to play the range game pretty well versus her, but... We will see. We will see. Otherwise, we're versus Kennen, and it's just a range versus range matchup. Trying to dodge his abilities is uh, all we really have to do. But yeah. She has Grasp as well. So, like, that feels pretty bad against range, I think. She's not going to be able to proc it very easily. So that makes me think that she could be top. Yeah, I mean. Because why would you ever... Take grasp if you're gonna play versus a ranged matchup. Doesn't really make much sense. Um, all right, so we're versus Kennen, so I guess I'll start E then. Oh wow, you're pretty speedy. But he wanted that melee creep so bad that he walked back up, so I can hit him. Oh, can I actually get these? They're all dying around the similar timing, so. That was a really bad one, but that's okay. I'll just hit him here. Oh, never mind. Nice nice jump away, actually. He has Doran's Blade, so he actually hits pretty damn hard with his auto attacks. Um, if he's going to play aggressive. Ah, the minions are moving. He's going to Q? Yeah, he's going to Q the caster since it was low. I maybe could have E'd right there, actually. Now is the point where it's harder to predict whether I can E him when he goes for an auto attack or if he's going to go for Q trading, so. Oh, I actually landed that. I didn't think I would be able to. Nice, he stepped back up. I guess he really wanted to hit me with one auto. I think he's dead, right? Oh my gosh, nice. He escaped with the blue as well. I think I got the cannon experience, but I did miss cannon, but anything for my jungler. As long as he lives, it's okay. Just use my shield and maybe back away. Can I even survive this? I don't know, one for one trade, just shove in the way for me. If I flash away, I... It's, it's like all auto attack damage, as you can see. It's basically like dying to, I don't know, Yasuo in a way. Okay, not, yeah, that's not a good example. A Caitlyn. So honestly, there's no reason to flash. You saw how much damage he did with autos. It was 400 damage. His spells did like a total of 100. So there was nothing to flash away from there, except for I could flash his stun. But once I got stunned, it's already over. I'm just going to full on tank it, so... Bot GG. Oh, that sucks for you guys. That sucks for you guys. Oh, wow. He actually got me again. I tried sidestepping around the creep so he would not be able to hit me with the Q, but I guess he was able to position it pretty well. That's why I didn't shield myself, because I thought he would miss. But I guess there's no reason not to use it, huh? Kind of sucks. Right there, he ran at me. Was trying to hit me with his E so he can stun me, but thankfully... I didn't get hit. I just ran away from it. I know that they recently buffed Kennen as well. Dude, the E is actually so ridiculous for like getting movement speed to run away. So I actually can never follow up these hits. It's actually just not possible. He's just too fast. Okay, I'm going to shield myself this time. Because all he's doing is just hitting me with his W's. So his auto attack into W trade. 
Man, him just not having mana cost is really rough. Nah, uh, I think that's warded over there, so... Hello, welcome back, Zed. He was really trying to play aggressive because he knows I want to reset. He kind of almost died for it, but he has no ignite, so... I wonder if I can just get the experience here and then kill him with it. I just need one creep. He might stay because I froze it. Maybe? No. That's fine. Alright, level 2 boots isn't the best, but I actually care mostly about making it back to lane fast enough that I don't miss these, because the wave is actually kind of big, so it's going to kill all my minions pretty quickly and then crash. So I'm trying to get some of the creeps at least. Man, this is an optimal time to go bot as well. I think Zed can clean this up though. Th these guys are super low, no? Yeah, okay, Ash is dead for sure. Also, there's no realistic way of me killing this guy. If, if I just ulti him straight up there, I don't think we can kill. We don't have enough damage, so I'm just not going to follow it up. I'm just going to hit him for a little bit of poke damage. Oh wow, nice hit actually. At least we were able to hit him back though. Every single time that he steps up I have to be careful because Kennen Olin is actually really strong. If anything, I think that we have crazy good gank setup because landing R versus an aggressive player normally is a bit easier than somebody playing really far away. So... We do have, like, that advantage. Dude, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, okay. I, I guess. God. All right, so Leona was behind me. And the cannon actually gets away with that, too. I didn't respect the damage, I guess. The thing is that it really sucks burning flash versus somebody who can't even 100 to 0 you. So that's why I just full-on tanked it, because he's also, like, going underneath my tower. The ultimate was clearly bad. It sucks that Zed wasn't nearby to follow it up. Because he could have grabbed the cannon kill probably, but... We'll just have to live with how the game is being handed to us right now. Getting a really shitty hand, but... At least a lot of my teammates are doing fine, so I can still influence the game a lot. Pauline's doing fine now, too. Okay, Zed. I guess he don't win. 1v1, sadly. That guy was 0-2 as well. Damn, this guy just ulties on repeat. Every single time.
Oh, you're dead though, for that. You might have killed me, but I think that's not even worth for you. Only because he's worth a shutdown, so I would have played it a bit safer. But if he wants to win lane, then he definitely got me. I actually tried popping shield too. I tapped W, but I guess it was on like a quarter second. I think I would have lived. So that was like really close to me surviving. Because I knew he was going to flash in to hit his W to hit me there. Or like uh, finish me off. But either I was too slow or it was on cooldown. I'm pretty sure it was on cooldown though. Oh, Yumi disconnecting got hit by that stun. Oh my god, that sucks. 70 HP. Oh, doesn't kill. Wait, where did Zed die? Top lane zero four. Uh, there's no way for me to do anything. Our top lane's too far behind, so she can't really rotate to help either. Where did Kennen go? Nice, nice. There's a cannon behind us. By the way. Okay, so I'm just stuck here. Basically. You mean, do you even have exhaust? The thing is, he has no flash from earlier, and he was pretty low when I have Ignite, so I can finally commit something to finally get a return kill. Oh nice, I got the kill top two. Yeah, the getting to the dragon fight is so awkward because I actually could never face check the cannon because I would just die if I stayed here, so I had to literally loop all the way around, but thankfully the bot lane's doing really good, so... I think it's worth sending Yumi and me mid to kill Kennen though. Okay, unless Lucian dies. I was gonna say he's just literally just underneath tower just farming. He's fine, right? Like not farming, but just like staying safe, but guess he Guess he couldn't stay safe there. Damn. I have my ultimate coming back up, but unfortunately it's like not at the correct timing that I would actually be able to stop these guys. I'm gonna just shove out the wave and Lucian can collect mid wave. Diana's top right now. Kennen has proto belt, so it's gonna be difficult to actually uh, ulti him now. It should be pretty easy for him to just proto belt away. I'm trying to play around this Zed. I have my Everfrost and base too. If we want to buy. Kennen is catchable here, but there's nobody really nearby. 
Oh, Cannon for some reason left. I might be able to get to this in time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cannon literally ran all the way top to kill my the zero seven. <laughs> huh. Okay. I don't know if that was worth it for him. I think being bot side would have been a better spot for him to really contribute for his team. It's not like Fiora is really worth any that much money right now. Okay, I got Everfrost. Hello, Camille. Uh, Zanyas is extremely effective this game, just because they have a lot of like burst type champions, like being able to stop Diana ulti, Camille ulti, Camille Q, Cannon ulti. All those things are really good. I guess I have to go bot. And else we're able to loop on these guys here. They're going for vision control. Like, but I have to go Bob versus Camille and we'll always lose unless I have Zed with me. Wow, that is some aggression from Camille. I think that that's going to end up pretty fucking bad for them. She's dead. Unfortunately, my ulti was not good enough that I got a reset, though. But still, she died, and she's like... It was a 1 for 3. I hope that the mentality of the Lucian is feeling good, even though he died. Dude, we're not standing in Narnia. The thing is that we're literally standing inside the jungle to allow the enemy team to make a stupid mistake like that. Listen, if we are standing near the Lucian, the enemy team won't do stuff like that. They would see that we're there, and they would not put themselves into a position to get themselves killed. I don't even know why they did in the first place, because they should be assuming that we're standing around the corner somewhere. But if we're standing in sight of them, we will not be able to get that guy. Okay, this guy is playing so aggressive all the time, so free kill. Just fear into Everfrost, he's stuck in place. Didn't have, like, any time. I'm gonna just rotate back mid, screw it. Like, <laughs> I'm just, let's just head back, man. I have my ultimate coming back up here. And I'm in a perfect flanking position. Put down a pink ward here, just to make sure that they don't see me. Yeah, this is this is ideal scenario. Once again, Camille might jump on this guy, so I'm just gonna throw it out when I think she might jump. Yeah, I don't know. There's no way that like this Camille will go on this guy, right? No chance. I'll put a pink ward in here just to make sure that they don't know I'm here, and let's see if she goes for the Lucian. Because if she does, I'm here. Killer, please. No. Damn. Careful, 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 he'll flash. No. Okay. We have exhaust. Ow, I got hit. I'm okay, though. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Her ultimate was pretty good there. She used it at a good timing that I, I didn't really get a good fear off or anything. The thing is, it's hard to chase down Camille's. After she did the E onto Lucian, like, I think she still proc'd her Q, and Q gives movement speed for her, so it's hard to, like, get on top of her afterwards. It's difficult. I know that I said I was gonna go... Okay, here. How about this? We're still building a lot of AP, so we have that burst potential, so, like, we can still, like, try to one-tap these people, but at the same time, we have a stopwatch just in case something goes bad to keep myself uh, a little safe. And cannon use flash, that's like a really important cooldown. That's gonna be around 24 minutes because it's five minutes long for flash without any rune changes or Ionian boots. So about 24 minutes is when cannon flash will be back up.
The person that would go bot is Kennen. Oh, I tried. If that lands there... You know what? I take it back. If that lands there, I might have actually killed myself. This guy has a... A, uh... What is it? Shadow Flame already. What? That's crazy, actually. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna flash away from that. You're a, a really, really gross champion at, like, 1v1-ing once you get the stun off, so... I'm not interested in dying today. You should die, though. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, without ultimate versus a Zed, that's his only counterplay. Maybe popping ulti to hit the Zed with a stun, but with uh, that not being available anymore, he has no, no way of really counterplaying it. Why did Yumi detach? Oh, I just got killed because I was trying to help. They were completely fine. Yumi would be okay. Yumi could just heal Zed or even heal me and maybe we can escape. But she detached and killed herself. And I tried to help, which I shouldn't have. I should have just ditched. I'm worth a lot of gold, so I threw the game by helping out there. At least Fiora is now really strong after that. That She gets one cannon kill and suddenly she's actually contributing a lot with like split push power. She is dead though. If we lose Baron, that's really, really bad. So I hope we can stop it. Now I'm going to respawn at a pretty good timing here. So I think that they shouldn't be able to. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, they definitely can't. <laughs> I'm down so much CS this game from like... Sorry about the sneeze, by the way, if it was loud. Um, Is it worth going for Kennen rather than just... We're, we're going to lose the dragon. It's almost guaranteed. The Kennen protobelted forward. The, the dragon's gone. I mean, when you commit your resources, the, the Zed, the jungler, top... There should be no real way to contest it. Now, it would suck if we tried to contest it and died for it for no reason when we can. Like this. This is this is really bad. Like, we already lost it. Just give it up, man. There's there's no way for us to actually realistically help. Right? Because we're already top. I'm just sitting in here waiting. If they don't start it, then it's whatever. They're probably all sitting inside this brush because the pink board is still showing that they haven't started it. And if they don't start it, it's fine. They still are not starting it. They still are not on it. There is literally no reason to check just yet. Yeah, they're not going to go for it. I'm just going to... Whoa! They're not on it! Okay, you're fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. I thought the Camille might ulti that guy and kill him. Thank God, man. Huh. Okay, well, let's, if we just play as a team 4v4 with Bior, it will be a split pushing, right? I think we should realistically win a lot of fights. I mean, they, they're they looking for the Ash Arrow. We need to look for, I guess, me looking for a pick. I have my item. I should probably go buy. I, I It's going to be actually difficult to kill some of these champions. Shield Bow plus also, like, she has three items versus my two. So I'm like behind in like, and like she's the same level as me as well. The level, I guess, is what matters most. Why are they sending Ken and the, the the person who has Ignite bot lane versus her? That makes no sense. Oh, they both have Ignite. Never mind. <laughs> We're the only ones with TP. Okay, never mind. Kenan, hello. Our vision's really good right now. I like it. Oh, nice poke damage on that guy. Huge. I'm using everything on this guy. I don't think we're able to finish her off, sadly. But that's okay. Uh, Lucian will cut her. I also hit her there. Yeah, she's just dead. 
The thing is that Diana ultimate is a huge cooldown, and they missed it. Firstly, didn't hit anybody, but also, uh, I'm pretty sure Cannon ulti didn't land as well, or was exhausted by Yumi. So, normally it's pretty easy to tell, like, why certain teamfights are won when people have big ultimates, like Diana ulti, right? Um... If, it, if you're not hitting multiple people and it's sticking, your champion is kind of useless, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna keep going. I don't think I actually... Oh, actually, maybe I could have done enough. The deceptive part was that it looked like I actually didn't do that much, but she was actually dying to the true damage portion of Death Stance, so maybe I could have stepped up. But they did just respawn. I could have actually walked straight into an Ash Arrow as well, so I think that it's fine not, like, overly committing there. You have to think to yourself, like, let's say we do kill Camille there, what do we get off of it? And the answer would be nothing. Because everybody actually reset. Because we just got a lot of gold. So I would... I would get a kill, and not get any objectives off of it, so what's the point of even going for it? Now, I still have my stopwatch ready, so a flash cannon ulti, we can counter it. Oh, cannon's right there. Am I going to walk into people? Wait, did I just fear her so it didn't it didn't push her towards me? It's interesting. Just get her with that. Uh, I have my ultimate, but like, where are they? Did they back off all the way? Did they back inside that brush? Are they just sitting inside of this brush and I get CC to the point that I can't even die? He got there, so he must have walked over this ward. I mean, you can double check, but that's the only possible way that... I, I wasn't looking at the minimap the entire time. I don't know. Like, going around here? We should have seen it, no? Unless this was recently placed. No, this this buff on the ward actually means that it's been there for a long time. Well, anyways, I think we won the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. You know, we did our best. <sighs> Unfortunately, like, I died a couple times to getting solo killed to not respecting his damage sometimes. One of it was a Leona gank. That was kind of unpreventable. But I wasn't really thinking about the Leona gank at the time. I wasn't paying attention to the bot lane. But still a decent game. I think we contributed a lot. Managed to get ourselves and my team back in the game with some kills. And yeah. So. I hope you guys once again enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. I'm sure that my damage dealt isn't too bad. But at, of course, he just got a ton of kills at the end. Damage padding. Like, he, he got a hell of damage now. Now, if it looks like my damage isn't high, it's not because uh, of me not performing. It's because of that. That's my copium. That's my copium. Tilt proof, Lucian. Super tilt proof. <laughs> yeah, not bad. We did our job. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.